In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can evaluate a polynomial at a given value. A polynomial is something that is made up of many terms, a term being things multiplied and divided together. Terms are separated by addition and subtraction. Here we are told that we want to evaluate 2x squared minus 4x plus 6 when x equals 4. If we know x is equal to this 4, we can go back to each of these x's and replace them with the negative 4. This will give us 2x, or 2 times negative 4, squared, minus 4x, or 4 times negative 4, plus 6. Once I've made this substitution, I've reduced the problem down to an order of operations problem. Order of operations says to go back and do the exponents first. When we do, we get 2 times negative 4 squared, which is positive 16, minus 4 times negative 4, plus 6. Next, order of operations asks us to multiply and divide. We can multiply the separate terms together without violating order of operations. 2 times 16 is 32, Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16, plus 6. Finally, we get to add all these expressions, all these terms together. 32 plus 16 plus 6 is 54. And we have our final solution. Notice, on the exponent, when we multiplied negative 4 times negative 4, we got a positive 16. This is because the negative was inside the parentheses, and we were squaring the entire parentheses. A common error people run into, though, is one like the next problem. Negative x squared plus 2x plus 6, when x is equal to 3. In this problem, we know the x is 3, and so we're going to replace each x with 3. As we replace, we'll put it in parentheses, but the things that are not changing stay outside of the parentheses. This includes the negative in the square, with only the 3 going inside the parentheses, plus 2x, or 3, plus 6. This time, when we get to the exponent stuff, we're only getting to square the 3, not the negative. The negative stays there, and 3 squared is 9, plus 2 times 3, plus 6. Now we can continue by multiplying 2 times 3, giving us negative 9, plus 6, plus 6. And finally, we can add our expression together, giving us our final answer of 3. We got these answers by simply replacing the variable by the number we're told it represented, and then using order of operations to simplify the expression.